okay, let's say we want to find out what the current month is. And we want the whole word, not just the, the number. So let's start off by doing today. The today function just tells you what today is. January 12th, 2015. If we want to find out what the current month is, we use the month function. We put today in the parentheses. And it comes up like this just because the formatting is bad. We have to format this. Now it's formatted as a date. We format it as general. So it's the number. So one just means it's the first month, which is January. Say we wanted to actually say January. To do that, I would use the choose function. You can use choose and then whatever your choice is, the choose function lets you pick what choice you want. So in here it's one. And then we want it to say January, since that's the first month, we put that here. We can do this for all 12 months. We just have to type in all 12 months into this function. So then no matter what the date ends up being, then it'll pull the correct months in for you. I mean, it's kind of a pain doing it the first time because you got to type in all 12 months. But once you get that done, then you're all set to uh, copy this formula to wherever you need to. And then you're all set. And it's January. And we can test this out by saying today, we can add 30 days to today, and now it's February. So we added 30 days, we become February 12th. What month is that Two. So now it's gonna look at all your choices. Choice one, choice two is February. If we add 60 days to it, now it's March. January, February, March. So we get to work all the way through, right through December. And this is just one way. I mean, there's other ways you can pull, pull in the name, but this is uh, one of the easy ways that I know by using the choose function. Thanks.